What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And in this review, I'm going to talk about Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, which was released on the Super Nintendo by Square, which is known as Square Enix. And this is pretty much a spin off of the Final Fantasy series, and I do believe that this is the first spin off. And if that's the case, you can mention it in the comment section of the video. Now, the plot of the game is that Benjamin is on a quest to get back. A set of crystals that were stolen, and, and and of course the crystals are important to the um location uh, where um Benjamin is a native and stuff like that. And Benjamin has a party of four that comes with him who 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 help him out in his quest and stuff like that. Now um, you pretty much travel to different uh, locations while searching for the crystals. And the locations that you would travel to are uh, locations like the forest, uh, sand temple, wind, wind tree caves and stuff. Now, throughout the course of the game, you are kind of different creatures like um, brownies, behemoths, uh, freezer crabs, and giant toads. And one of the things that um, separates uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest from the other uh, Final Fantasy games is that there's no pretty much random attacks and stuff like that, which is something that the Final Fantasy franchise is known for, and um, other RPGs follow that um, example in terms of the um, random attacks. But what does happen is that you find like different uh, enemies on the, on the screen and stuff, and once you get close to them, that's really when the um, battles begin. And the only thing that's really random when you encounter the different enemies is which, which um, enemies that you fight and the number, you know what I'm saying. Now, um, when it comes to um, Benjamin himself, he gets like armor items and, and weapons like that. Like, say, um, the steel sword, giant axe, bomb, mega grenade, and dragon uh, claw. And then you get like different uh, armor, like um, the Venus shield, magic ring, uh, uh, different types of armor, stuff like that. And along with the items like uh, potions, coins, and, and, and keys. Now, the um, traveling companion of uh, Benjamin are Kaylee, Phoebe, Ruben, and Trish, Trish Ram. Trish Sam. Something, something like that. <laughs> I know I'm not like kind of butchering it. The last character thing, but they all travel with him at some point during the game. Now, um, all of the weapons, items, and you know, armor they they get are are pretty much character specific. You know what I'm saying? What on uh, like the weapons and stuff that uh, Ruben get, the other three don't get, and it is like that with the other characters too. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, pretty much. Of course, you got got the bosses. Uh, I guess it, the uh, when you encounter them, it's pretty similar to when you um, approach the regular enemies. You want to, like once you get uh, too close enough to them, that's that's when the boss battle like really begin and stuff. Now, the graphics and design for um, Final Fantasy Mystic Craft are pretty are pretty good. You know what I'm saying? The um, color palettes are excellent. You know what I'm saying? I have no real problem. With with them at all, you know. Now, the, the controls and gameplay are good, even though the um, even though Final Fantasy Mystic Quest don't have the um, uh, the random attacks that the other Final Fantasy games has, you know. Now, the soundtrack is really excellent, in my opinion. It's, in my opinion, one of the best um soundtracks on the Super Nintendo, even though some people say it's not necessarily as good as say um. Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Super Mario World, or Super Metro, or some other games like that. But it is pretty good, nonetheless. Now, the biggest gripes with um, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest are the fact that the game is too short. And it is too easy when you compare it to other Final Fantasy games. Especially the ones that were released on, say, like this NES, Super Nintendo. You, you can even include some of the ones... That were released on the Game Boy and stuff. Now, and uh, when it comes to um, the fact that it's easier than the other you know, Final Fantasy games, it's kind of like it's considered the um, Final Fantasy 
game for for beginners. You know what I'm saying? But but despite these uh, gripes that people have with the game of Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, it's still a, a really good game. You know what I'm saying? And I would honestly recommend it to anybody who never played the game, who are um, Final Fantasy fans, people who play RPGs and uh, retro games and stuff. For as a score, I definitely give Final Fantasy Mystic Quest an 8 out of 10, you know. With that being said, sound off in the comment section about Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you, do you don't like the fact that it's too short and too easy? You know, you know what I'm saying? Is it one of your favorite um, Final Fantasy games? You can comment about whatever concerning Final Fantasy Mystic Quest and stuff. And if you like this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. This is your boy, Big Metro Fan 12, signing off.